Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. We are conducting a special series where we are talking about several important aspects of console multiphysics simulations. These videos are helpful for your learning purposes and hence I request you to watch the entire playlist without skipping a single video. Today I will be talking about numerical data, how to use numerical data as functions. Many times you come across numerical data, suppose you want to use your experimental data which comes in a kind of data file where you have your independent variables and dependent variables. You may get some data from your colleagues like uh, in a data file form. So how to utilize those data if you want to utilize this for your console simulations. So for that, uh, let us go to the console interface. We are working with 2D. Let us take heat transfer for understanding. In study, let us take time dependent and initially let us go to definitions. As I have already mentioned, the functions are defined in definitions and go to interpolation. So when you are dealing with numerical data, you should choose the option of interpolation. So as you see in the screen, you have two options T and FT where T is an independent variable and FT is your dependent variables. But you have another options. I mean, either you can put your data here, you can numerically, you can manually type the data or you can copy paste from some sources or you have a beautiful options like file. You can store your data in a data file and you can actually import the data file to console and it will be using those numerical data as functions. How we are going to cover right away. Uh, I have actually taken a particular data of say X and temperature. So this is the data I have. This is a linear data. Let us plot it to visualize how the data is varying. So yeah, you can see this is a linear variation and the x spans from 0 to 0, 0, 0, 0.001 that means 1 millimeter. So you can say the dimensions of this x is 0 to 1 millimeter and the temperature is ranging from 0 to 80 say, uh, degrees Celsius or Kelvin. 0 Kelvin is absurd but still for the purpose of learning it is okay. Now what you can do is you can actually uh, copy this data and you can actually store it in a data file. So let us go to that. I have already created a text file for that console data. Let us create another file just for the learning purpose. Say console pioneer of success POS. So I paste my data. So your left column is the independent variable and the right column is the dependent variable. So let us save it. Yeah, this is saved in a location. Now I go to console. If I browse, I can access my file. So you are, this is the file console POS. So let us open the file. So it is imported and right away you click on plot so you can see you can visualize the data so it is same you see 0 to 80 and 0 to 001.001 000 001, as it is there in the data file so this is the same now our job is to utilize this data for our simulation so let us do the initial job that is creating a geometry say a square geometry let us choose the dimension as 0 0.001. You can understand why am I choosing 0 0.001 because the data spans up to 0 0.001. Yeah, it is taken. Now let us choose a material. So we can right click, click on add material, recent library because we have already used copper in the last video. Yeah, copper is chosen here. Now I go to heat transfer. This is the solution space. What we have to do is let us consider these three walls are kept at a certain temperature and the, at the bottom wall we put this function whichever we have generated in Excel and imported in console. So initially let us keep the other three walls at certain temperature. So these three walls. One, two, three. 
I select it and let us keep it at zero temperature. Although zero Kelvin is absurd, but for the learning purpose, this is okay. Now let us put another temperature and this is here at this location. I mean, ac across this line, we want to keep our function. So what is the name of our function? This is INT1. Now, one thing you have to understand that we only have numerical values, but the numerical values are consistently checked. Those are giving accurate values. Our my y-axis is giving temperature. So you don't need to put any unit because your unit is already available here. So only numerical data is fine and that's why I what I do is I just use this INT1. This is the name of the function but it is a function of what that you have to tell it's a function of x if you can follow me this is a function of x because i want my temperature along this line and we are varying we are moving along x axis so it's a function of x so within the parenthesis you have to write x this is the error from uh, i mean unit error but uh, as, as we are uh, we are okay with the numerical data. We are confirmed that our numerical data correct. So we can proceed. So my temperature is defined here. It is also defined here. So this is at higher temperature and those are kept at zero lower temperature. So we can expect that heat will flow from these positions to the, I mean to a wave. Now before we run the simulation, let us create the mesh. Uh, let us create a kind of extra fine mesh so that the simulation results become nice. Now I go to study. Let us reduce the time scale because it will take some time to simulate and we don't have much of time. So I have reduced somewhat the temp time. Now I click on compute so it will start computing. It will take some time to compute but Meanwhile, you have to understand that we are working with functions, numerical data and those numerical data can be 2D, can be 3D. Today we are discussing only 2D data. 2D data means basically 1D data. 2D means you have two columns actually that I want to tell. You can also work with three columns where you will be having X, Y and particular dependent variables. So I will come to that in later video but today we have one dimensional functions that means two columns okay so you can see here at let us go to zero temp, zero time so at zero nothing is defined appropriately at 0 0.001 yeah you can see the temperature is higher here why because it's a ramp function it's kind of linear function not a ramp function it's a kind of linear function or linear means ramp only it's okay whatever you call it so this is your temperature profile and you can see as we are moving right we are getting higher temperature so as time progresses the heat will flow from these positions to away and we can visualize it we are progressing with time so it is copper it is very fast process so already steady state has reached and that's why you cannot see from the contour but it is okay we can understand that heat is being flown from these positions to away and ultimately our target was to see whether my numerical data works or not so it has worked appropriately you can generate many data i have for the learning purpose i have only taken say 20 data but you can have millions of data you can put it in a data file and you can export it and you can run your simulation so with this we are stopping today i request you to subscribe to my channel because we are working hard on console multiphysics videos we are also working on engineering mathematics so those videos will be helpful to you thank you very much